So let's get started with bearer token. What is bearer token? Bearer token enables requests to authenticate using an access key, such as JSON web token. So guys, bearer token means you get the tokens to access something. So if you want to access a repository in your Git, so you need to, you can have the tokens for the same. Token is just the way of authorization, authentication, that this is a right user. So this type of authentication is called bearer token authorization. So with the help of bearer token, we will check whether now we are hitting the right API or not. So sometimes it happens the token is generated and you have to just pass that to verify whether you are a right user or not. This type of authorization is called bearer token authorization. In order to proceed further, we can go to our GitHub account. And then we do have option here of settings. When we go to settings and scroll down, you will see something called developer settings. And here we have personal access tokens. Guys, if you want that somebody can access your repositories, you can give them tokens also. With the help of tokens, you can set the authorization level that this person can just see my repository, this person can um, edit it, this person can delete it. So what a level of authorization user can have, you can set in this token and then pass the token to the user to whom you want to give access on your repositories. So here you have this option of personal access tokens. When you click on it, you can go to token classic because this is anyhow beta version. We, we don't want to use it right now. So token classic. And let me just generate new token. I've already created it, but let's just create. You will be clicking on generate new token. And then again, classic. Okay, it expires in 30 days. You can increase and decrease too. So token is for, let's say, repo access. This is my bearer token, repo access. And what I want this person to see, select scopes. What do you want this person to do? He can check the status, public. He can uh, write in it, delete my packages. Whatever you wish to give as authorization, you can give this authorization level. You want to make this person admin, whatever. So you can now click on generate token. So if you don't want that person can, uh, you know, delete it also, you can use this delete. Although please, when it is a real time, always make sure that you give valid uh, authorizations. Generate token. And this is my token. I give you token. I can copy this. And that's it. This is my bearer token. Now let's get back to Postman. I'm going to create a new call here that is called token or bearer token. Bearer token. Authorization. Guys, now till now you understood the steps. Because this is authorization, I have to choose. Now see, I have option of bearer token also. And I need to pass my token number here. So uh, let me remove this and I'll pass the token now. This is the token which was generated. So I now need to pass the token along with the URL. Now, which URL? Guys, for Git, we have a special uh, URL. So let me, I already gave you in this um, PPT. You can copy from there. And we can paste it here. Backspace. So this is for GitHub. So this is the GitHub's endpoint URL. This is the resource parameter. So I want it to go there and give me according to the token number. I want it to hit this. So you can click on send. 200 OK. See, now my if my repositories are also 
visible. My project, this is one of my repositories, Russian's repo, this is one project. I do have these repositories in my system, in my GitHub account. So I need to just pass the bearer token. Now what happened when they hit the uh, write API, request API, we need to pass the token just to tell that I have this level of authorization and then only I am able to access the particular resource. This is called bearer token. Now, if you want to automate bearer token in REST API, for the same thing, you can write the code at the rate test. And here again, guys, I, I can write public void bearer. Simply you will write given when then, sorry. So simply you will write um, even. So this make it a habit. Always we'll write when, then. Now, of course, in given, in order to understand the flow better, in given, we went to the header in the authorization and then we chose bearer token and accordingly we pass the value. And this token is passed to this URL. So understood? In when I will pass this, in then I'm looking for this, and in given I have to tell this complete flow of authorization and choosing bearer token. So in given I need to tell that I am going to this authorization header in authorization and then bearer token. So first step is, if you go to headers first check the headers also if you go to headers you have authorization here also passing the bearer token and postman so whatever you're passing here actually here is going to the headers of your api it is just the format so when it is header means just imagine anyone going to some uh, you know any place so going with the legs, but in head, whatever is there is we are passing that. So you can just consider this uh, this as legs, but this is your header. That means the information is stored here only in the form of whatever you are passing is in the head. So this is important if there is any precondition. All right, let's get back to this. In given, we will write given dot. Headers, okay. <coughs> yeah, sorry. So method, guys, always make sure the method, right method is chosen. All right, let me just complete this. When dot, I'll write get, and in get, you need to pass the URL, which is there in the first line. Yeah. Mm. And then, then what you are looking for, dot, Status code as 200. Dot log dot all. There is no comma, but it is plus. Yeah, so it is passed now. It's just the, there were no three arguments. We need to just pass bearer and then add the token. So I'm adding token to the bearer. So here there's no third argument. So you can add it like that. 
So this is your bearer tokens or, uh, you know, the automation of your bearer. So this is manual testing. This is automation testing for the same. So this is your bearer token. 